in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top five cheap izakayas in Tokyo. So a lot of you guys have asked me which izakayas are my favorite and which ones are really cheap. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys my top five. But before we get started, you guys gotta know something about izakayas in Japan. Some of them are open for 24 hours, and the cool thing is some of them have actual all-you-can-eat and all-you-can-drink options, which we'll cover in this video. And because the places are really cheap, there's usually a younger crowd. So in this video, I'm gonna try to go to the izakayas a little bit earlier so it won't be as crowded, but be prepared to have crowds and crowds of people and wait. So one thing that you guys just gotta know is that they're kind of loud so if you want to have a peaceful conversation then it might be difficult because there's just so many people there. And also it could be really smoky so if you or any family members don't like smoke then you might want to avoid these places because smoking is allowed. And if you want to get my samurai shirt check out the link below. Alright let's do this! Number one, An An, my favorite cheap yakiniku place. The kanji in their name literally reads as cheap, cheap. Need I say any more? So what I love about this place the most is that it's like the cheapest place to have yakiniku, at least for me, and get like a lot of food for a decent value. You can order one dish at a time, or get one of their all-you-can-eat courses. So they have courses that start at 1,700 yen and go up to all the way to 3,200 yen. And then for an extra 1,200 yen, you can get all you can drink. It's pretty freaking cool. All right, and look at this beer. So it's not the biggest beer in the world, but it's like it's actually you know, you know I guess a decent size, your average size. <sighs> Nothing like a fresh beer. This is one of my favorites, it's Tancho, and it's actually beef tongue, but it's so delicious. It like it has like this really nice texture. Mm. Mm. This is why I love this place. The funny thing is I never go here with Michael because she really doesn't like it because she thinks the meat is really cheap. Which is like it's really fair because it is like meat is cheap, but I just love meat in general, so it's really good to me. Yeah, that looks so good. And this is tontoro, it's one of my favorites. It's pork. It's like really really fatty, but it just literally pops when you eat it. Coolest thing is the food is cooking right in front of you and you can see the smoke like it's all going up into the exhaust fan but man you're definitely gonna smell like smoke after this so you know if you are gonna go out or if you have like people to meet after this then this is probably not the place to go but if you just want to have like a nice beer hang out with some friends if you just want to like barbecue up some meat like this is the spot oh and we're getting one of my favorite pieces look at that the butter garlic that is some hearty garlic cooked to perfection. And you want to have some vegetables, you should definitely try the kimchi moriawase, which is like a kimchi assortment. My favorite is like the pickled ones. I just like can't stop eating the kimchi. And they have a tablet here too, which means they have an English menu. Number two, Isomaru Suisan. If you're looking for some seafood, this is the place to go. Let me show you what's inside. What I love about this place, it has like this nice beach house kind of feel like you're like in this fisherman's den over here. And just like the other izakayas, this place has a touch panel which makes ordering so easy. Is they also have an English menu. In fact, they have English, Korean, and Chinese here. I'm a proponent of pictures on the menu as it makes ordering easy. Also, at this place, the pictures are pretty spot on to what you actually get. Easy like Taco Tuesday. All right, look, I got the beer. It looks like a lot of beer, but it's actually not that much. I feel like I can drink this like in one gulp. Look at that, like three gulps and it's almost gone. This is one of the ways that they make money here is to sell these drinks. But what I like about this place is that there's no like one drink minimum here. So you can just have water and then like not even order anything else, which is super nice. But unfortunately, there's no all you can drink here. So you're gonna have to order your beers and your two highs one at a time. Look at that, we got the whole tate, you cook it yourself. So this izakaya specializes in grilled shellfish. 
Hamaguri, which is like a giant clam, is my go-to. Once the shell opens about two centimeters, you simply cut it with the scissors. Yay! I love the clam juices. Feel like you still get all of that clam flavor. Let's peel that off. Oh, that's so good. Where else can you cook your own seafood at a restaurant? It's like you're part of the entire experience. This is karimiso kora, which is a crab butter. Oh, so delicious. Oh, it's so delicious. For some reason when I'm eating the kare miso, it's just like there's a lot of oil it feels like they have. So it almost feels like you're eating something very, very unhealthy, like kind of junky, but it's so good. This is Shima Zushi, Maiko's favorite. It's a local delicacy of an island in Japan called Hachijojima. So what I love about this is that the rice is pre-seasoned as well as the fish. You can see that it's actually a mustard in here instead of a wasabi, which is pretty interesting. And when you take that first bite, you can like feel the mustard kick. It's amazing. This is hoke, a type of mackerel that makes my heart sing. Look at that meat. It's not as good as your, how do you say, like skeezy fish, but it's still pretty tender, which is nice. You still feel like the moistness in the, in the fish. Number three, torikizoku. Torikizoku is my favorite yakitori izakaya chain during those times when I'm struggling to make a dollar out of 15 cents. And even if I could make it rain, I love this place as everything on the menu is 298 yen. And of course, they have a touch panel in English. Torikizoku even has an all you can eat and drink course for 2,980 yen for groups of eight or more. My beer just came, look how big it is. This is a regular beer and this is the gargantuan beer and this is 298 yen three bucks that's freaking great <sighs> just so much good stuff here but I'm gonna show you my favorite sources that you should definitely try this is my go-to nankotsu karage fried cartilage and it's so good I love the way it crunches what I usually actually like doing I just love rubbing the chili powder around it, just like that. It gives it a little like extra spice, it's amazing. Mm, popcorn cartilage with this kick. This is Momo Kizoku Yaki Spicy. What I love about it is they have thigh meat and then it's sandwiched in between these green negi, which is onion. Then they sprinkle some extra spice on it. And it has a little bit of a kick, but like not too much, it's not that spicy. Three bucks, you can't beat this. And what's nice is you get two skewers out of each order. I mean, I have to be honest, it's not the best yakitori I've had in Japan, but still the value is just unbeatable here. So this isiseri is a neck part of the chicken. Mm. That hits a spot. For me, I like I love the little like texture to it. It's not just like a chicken because it has a little bit like cartilage kind of texture to it, but it still has like a very juicy thigh kind of meat to it. Can't forget about the free cabbage refills. It's just like regular cabbage, but free refills all night. So you can just like keep on downing this the entire time, which is pretty awesome. Mm. So one tip I have for you guys, this is such a cheap and inexpensive place to eat that everyone goes here, especially the younger kids, so it gets super busy. So like anytime after like 6.30, there's gonna be a super long line. So you wanna get here as early as possible, but man, it's still such a great value. And what I love about this place is that there's no service charge or table charge. You get what you pay for. Number four, Kushikatsu Tanaka. Kushikatsu Tanaka is one of my favorite izakayas because they have really cheap kushikatsu and they have really cheap beers. Let's go inside and check it out. Man, this place, it's like the middle of the day on a Saturday and it's still so super loud. One of the things I love is just how like energetic the staff are and they just like welcome you with this like awesome greeting. Everyone just says, 
Welcome to the place! So Kujikatsu are fried skewers of different pieces of meat and fish and vegetables. This place is actually originally from Osaka and Osaka is famous for Kujikatsu. What's another cool thing for foreigners is it has all you can drink here which is 1,380 yen. They have some set courses here and even they have all you can eat takoyaki. It might be worth looking into if you have a family. So the takoyaki is really fun for kids to try. It's just so cool that you can actually make your own takoyaki here. If you guys really want, they actually have this dice rolling game for free drinks. But the dice rolling game is only for whiskey and soda. If you win, then you get a free drink. You gotta roll a certain number. I don't drink whiskey, so unfortunately I don't actually ever play the game, but they actually play the dice game to get free drinks. Oh man, look at all this food. I'm just so excited. Look, this is one of my favorites. It's like yukatsu. It's a fried meat. Where else can you go wrong? Fried freaking meat. The one thing is you gotta dip it in the sauce. You're not supposed to double dip though. Look at that a succulent morsel of meat and fried goodness. <laughs> this place is so loud. That is so delicious. I'm gonna have to have more of these. So inexpensive that you can just order tons and tons of these kushikatsu sticks. Honestly, who doesn't love fried food? It's a nice texture because you have the gooiness with like the firm taco. This is shiitake mushroom. Look at all of that loveliness right there. Mm. Even though this like is a really cheap izakaya, they do really well with a frying. Like it's a really thin coat, so it's like not overcooked, it's not undercooked. It's just like pretty perfect. They have the frying down to a science here. And as a dessert, you can get cookies and cream. Wow! It tastes exactly like an Oreo cookie. They just fried a freaking cookie. It's amazing. Number five, Watami. Watami is an all around izakaya like Kinakura and Wada Wada. You can sometimes find individual rooms too. So we're here in Watami. It's one of my favorite izakayas because it has an awesome selection of food. There's actually other izakayas that are very similar to this. By similar, like it saves the same food, but this is like kind of like that happy medium. And this place is just not specialized in like one particular food. It has sashimi, it has salad, yakitori, gyoza, and it even has horse meat. Not that I'm condoning it. And look how big these beers are. So this is like the regular size beer, but this is a large beer. A little bit more expensive, but look how much bigger it is. It's pretty awesome. So right there, that's Otoshi. Meaning that when they come here and they bring this to you, you're gonna have to pay a table charge. And what's nice is they have an all-you-can-drink course here, which is 1,800 yen for two hours. Oh. And check it out, they also have an English menu with everything. So this is one of my favorites, it's called a hire. A means it's like, like a ray, it's actually their fin. Not really that crunchy, like it has like this hard, chewy texture. It's almost like beef jerky, it's, but it's like fish beef jerky. Oh. Mm. I would say it's like my favorite fish jerky ever. And this is a must order. It's skune chicken balls. And it has these like chunky cartilage. But what's really nice, it comes with a raw egg yolk. Look at that, it's still dripping. I always order this. Mm. It's like eating the best chicken nugget with like a super yolky, saucy flavor. This is shishamo. This is like the perfect drinking side dish, which in Japanese is called otsumami. Like nicer places sometimes, the actual shishamo has eggs in the belly. I'm just gonna dip it and eat the head right off. Mmm. Check it out, this one actually has eggs. Can you see that? And it's like nice and bitter and it has like this nice egg texture. Look at this gyoza. Look at that dripping it, dripping it drop. Oh. Mm. That's some good gyoza. But it's not the best gyoza I've ever had. But still, it's pretty good. And in fact, it's really garlicky. So if you love garlic, then this is your meal ticket. 
Alright, so that concludes my top 5 cheap izakayas. If you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.